with those really cool and inventive ideas for our yard, our gardens, and this is called a spinner stand set for a gazing ball. This has beautiful colors, mm -hmm. and then you've got a spinner here that just adds to the ambiance. Something like this is really fantastic and can stay out in all weathers. Is that it right? can, absolutely can. That mm -hmm. voice you hear belongs to Nancy Brambuler. <laughs> She's our plow and hearth representative. And for less than $50 and five easy payments, you're looking at something that is absolutely stunning for the it's, garden area. It's really gorgeous. And what I love that Plow and Hearth has done here is they've combined two very uh, classic elements in your garden. That's a gazing ball, which we have here, a stainless steel gazing ball, absolutely beautifully colored. And then they added a spinner to the base. Most of the time when you see a gazing ball, it's sitting on a cement you know, pedestal or maybe right. a metal pedestal. I love that they took the idea of their wind spinners, which they're so good at, and they added it to this gazing ball. They're there you're seeing our hummingbird choice, and that's one of the choices that's got those vibrant colors. Right in front of David here, we have our rooster. Look how cute those little roosters marching around. <laughs> Love it. So cute. And then in the front, we have a butterfly, and I'll go there. And I'm spinning them with my hand because we don't have wind here in the studio. But at home, the wind is going to capture these butterflies and is going to send that spinning around that gorgeous gazing ball. In fact, it's such a highly polished gazing ball, you can see the studio reflected in the gazing ball itself. Well, and I will tell you, what was that, Brian? It's our only order of the season. And these are final quantities in all three choices. Mm. Uh, the first choice is called butterfly, down below. Right. I have fewer than 1,500 to go around in this butterfly. The colors of the butterfly mimic the colors in the gazing ball. Really beautiful. Then we've got, I believe, this is hummingbird. The hummingbird. Mm -hmm. This is our new one this year. Fewer than 500 left there in the hummingbird. And finally, I have the rooster, and the hummingbird is brand new. And 100 left in the rooster. Oh my goodness! Now these are 29 inches high with the gazing ball inside, correct? Right, exactly, exactly. And so you've got a gazing ball, like I said, that's made out of stainless steel. Very often they're made out of glass. You don't have to worry about this color at all because this is electroplated on here. I want to show you just all the different colors. Each one of them has a bit of a rainbow effect on it. This one's got purple and blue and gold and some pink in there to go along with those gorgeous hummingbirds that are flying around on the edge there. And then with our rooster over here, these are more of the colors of sunset. So you've got that beautiful kind of orange and a little bit of gold and kind of a little bit of magenta there. And then look at these darling roosters just kind of marching around. Oh my God. And then in front, our butterflies have similar to the hummingbird, but they have a little more blue and purple. And look at that, oh, There's almost like a teal. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And like you said, they mimic the colors of the butterflies that spin around. And you can actually, in fact, if I do this slowly, look how you see the reflection of the butterfly even. In the gazing in ball. In the gazing ball. So the gazing balls are meant to just help you gaze at them, but also reflect the beauty of your garden. Now, what assembly is necessary on this, Nancy? Very simple, a couple of pieces with your base right here. You are going to put the uh, your spinner portion onto the top of the base, and then you set your gazing ball in there. Very simple. And you're done. You're done, that's I right. I love that. Just a few pieces. So all this comes together for you at a really tremendous mm -hmm. price. We're also able to help you with that great easy pay tonight. Don't miss out on five easy payments. Goes away end of day, however. So if you're looking to pick this up tonight, you don't want to wait. Down below is Butterfly. 1,300 now left to go around in Butterfly. Closest to you is our Hummingbird. That's brand new today. Mm -hmm. 400 left in Hummingbird. And then in the Rooster, I have fewer than 100 in this Rooster. This has more of kind of a burnished red, reddish yes. orange. Mm -hmm. So I think something like this would be really lovely maybe even in the later days of summer into fall. Oh, absolutely. That would be so true. Or if someone just loves kind of that country feel, maybe you live on a small farm, maybe you really are someone who loves animals or had chickens when you were growing up. This is really just a fun one. Or you just like the idea of that kind of farmhouse look to it. I love that. Or are drawn to the colors. But then you've also got those gorgeous, vibrant colors that go along with our hummingbird and our butterfly. There really is one for just anyone who would like to, to you know, be drawn to any one of these colors. 
color palettes. And I just love how the spinning action is reflected in that gazing ball. So mm -hmm. this becomes something that just over and over again, year after year, becomes a focal point in the garden. Oh, it's so true. On the back deck, the patio, wherever you want to place this, just something like this is just so perfect to fill in those areas where you need just a little pop of color. Exactly. And it's something different. You know, leave it to Plow and Hearth to give you an item that is unique, is different. They took that gazing ball, which is such a classic thing. You think about it in English gardens, you know, but then they added that Plow and Hearth twist, or shall I say, spin from <laughs> Plow and Hearth. And you've got something that's really different. It's like those roosters or the hummingbirds or, or uh, butterflies are framing that gorgeous gazing ball. And I like having a gazing ball in the front of my house. Every single year since I've been with Plow and Hearth, I have had a gazing ball under a tree in my front flower bed. And I just love it because it's something that just kind of is a statement piece in my garden. So when nothing else is going on in my garden, I've got this gazing ball that is really beautiful. It's standing just under three feet tall and it's something that stands out and is something gorgeous on its own. But you know what? When my daylilies start coming in, then they kind of fill in the space around my gazing ball. And if you find that where you have it, you, you know, find that those plants are getting a little bit too big. It's very easy to be able to pick it up and move it and put it in a different location. It does come with this whole base, which is all this beautiful scroll of metal to create that base. But you can see I'm able to carry it if I need to move it. If this was on a cement base, I couldn't do that. I couldn't right. change the location. But I love that Plow and Hearth gives us something so gorgeous, but also that you can be flexible with where you put it. Well, everyone's going to love that we've got this for you at a great price tonight. We've also got easy pay in place for you. We've got all three of your choices, the butterfly, mm -hmm. the very limited um, hummingbird, which is brand new, only 300 left to go around there. And then finally, the most limited is rooster. And I have only two dozen remaining in that rooster. Okay, Nancy, David, thank, thank you, you Angel. so much. So good Be to well. see you. Mom Be well. We'll see you hi. soon. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> thank you. All right.